What's up, YouTube? G Builds here. We're going to talk about the Sonum XP8 phone a little bit. Got away from the iPhone. I think the prices is getting a little out of hand. Even though I'm an Apple and tech guy, it's a little bit crazy. Now I'm filming this on an iPhone 14, or is it 13? I think it's 13, one of them. And I love it, but um, sorry about the glare. I'm at work here at the docks. But um, I need a new service, new cell service. Cause I got away from T-Mobile. They were uh, jack of prices. So anyway, one with one of those smaller carriers for a little bit cheaper money. Same service cause they use the same towers. Anyway. Sonum XP8. I like the phone. I needed a rugged phone because I'm a mechanic. I'm out here at the docks. And, uh, you know, it's rugged, dust proof, water resistant, waterproof, whatever you want to call it. But I bought it refurbished because I couldn't find a brand new one in enough time to reach me. So, like I said, it's good phone, refurbished. Um, but I've been having some problems with it. One, um, I have to still do some more uh, updates to it. But a problem I had was it was not working on the hotspot. Hotspot would be on, the devices would say connected. But it will say no internet connection. My other problem I had was it was very slow on text messaging. Whereas if I opened, tried to open up the text message, say if there was a picture or something, it wouldn't open or it would take forever to open. So that was a little bit of a problem for me. Not sure if it's the software or if it's the phone. Being that it's refurbished, I'm not sure. Um, but nonetheless, the hotspot isn't too much of a deal breaker. I like to have it. Also, sorry, this glare. Also, um, the text messaging. Now, that's a little bit of a problem. I don't like how it's fr it freezes up, so I'm going to have to do an update and try to get all the way through all the updates to see if that problem is still there and also the hotspot problem. Other than that, I think it's a good phone. I think the problem I'm having is it's, it's refurbished. And maybe there's an issue in the phone that they overlooked or missed. Um, I got it for a good price, about 160 bucks. Uh, it's backed by a warranty and all that good stuff. Uh, but this one has to go back. Um, they feel that it's just a problem with the phone. I did call support. And um, I'm probably just going to go ahead and just buy a new one and just wait for it to get to me probably in a couple weeks. Uh, but that's my little take on the Sonim XP8. It is a great phone, especially if you're a mechanic, you work outdoors, you're a prep citizen. You know, it, it's a good phone. I like it. Uh, those are just my two little gripes. I haven't ran into any other issues that I'm aware of. Like I said, I'm going to update it. Um, I did two updates already, and it's saying it needs another one. So maybe it just has to run through all the updates. I think this phone came out in 2018, so it's probably a lot of updates. I'm not an Android guy, so I don't really know mostly had iPhones. And one other thing that I don't like is my security cameras like rings and things I have set up. Um, 
I can look at it on my iPhone. This on the App Store, the Google Play Store says that it's not it's not um supported. So I don't know what's up with that. But uh that's kind of an issue for me. But we'll see. Um I might be switching my security system anyway. Uh, but I'm not really sure. So we'll have to see how that plays out. I'm, I'm going to do the updates. See if it fixes the hot, hot spot issue. See if it fixes the opening up the, the pictures in the text message. Um, that's not really a deal breaker for me. I mean, I don't always use a hot spot. And text messages, you know, I mean, pictures, I mean, yeah, it's cool. But, you know... I, I don't I didn't take this phone to be a a high quality like on the move tech savvy phone because um, it really wasn't designed to be that way um, I did see good reviews on it so I'm just on the fence on some of the things that's going on but the major thing is if that would be if the Number one problem that I have would be viewing my security system when I'm not home. Uh, that's a big issue for me. So we'll see how it plays out. Uh, I'll give you an update. If not, I'll just go back to iPhone and it is what it is. But for now, I wanted to try to give this phone a try. So I'll let you know what's going on. But other than all the obvious reasons, that I've mentioned. Um, it's a good phone. Highly recommend it. Um, if you're a person that isn't all into, um, you know, text messaging and things like that, it's really a good solution. Also, um, I'm in the Northeast part of the country. I hunt in the mountains my iphone on particular carrier like t-mobile didn't have good service up there same thing with at&t didn't have good service up there but verizon did now i know these have dual sims um like i said it's refurbished so it was an att phone but it was unlocked um i'm going to try to put a verizon sim in here as well and go up to the mountains and maybe do like a Verizon prepaid card where I got some minutes on it and see if I could use the dual SIM. Um, I saw a video saying that you couldn't do it in the US, but you could do it on Canada phones. I'm not really sure where this is from, um, but if it works, it's definitely a good phone to have. Um, and then I might keep it just for that reason. Uh, so I can have the ability to communicate if something were to go wrong up in the mountains or you never know um crap hits the fan civil unrest uh all those things you know you never know where you are there might be a couple towers that still have a cell signal uh but for me being on the go being on the move this is definitely a good phone to have so stay tuned do some research Check it out. If you can find a cheap one on eBay, you know, for like a couple hundred bucks or whatever, grab it. Um, you know, obviously this has more features with um, external microphones, uh, push to talk, things like that. But give it a try and see if you like it. Um, I'm always prepared or try to be prepared and to have a, another phone that you could take on the move and throw a SIM card in it. Um, in my opinion as a win you know if you gotta evacuate you know you're not gonna be worrying about hot spots really uh, you're not gonna be worrying about text messages and opening up pictures um, you just want to be able to have a, a quality cell signal or something that you could communicate with um, and I, I, I think that's more important than the actual opening up tech, text messages for pictures and uh, utilizing the hotspot uh, security systems yes that's a big thing um, 
but I have, you know, other family members who have iPhones, and I could just connect that, um, the security system to those phones if we're on the move. Um, but also, you know, if you had to evacuate, and you know, you have a bug out bag, you have a system in place where you're leaving, and you're mobile, and you're not coming back then that security system probably isn't going to be a big issue to view on the phone. Uh, unless it's the zombie apocalypse and you're going out to get rations and you have to see what's going on on the move. But again, at that point, there's probably not going to be no cell service anyway. Um, no Wi-Fi. Going to have to communi communicate with radio. So, uh, and I think you could do radio on here, if I'm not mistaken. But I have to do a little bit more research on that. But I'm starting to go down the prepped and prepared citizen uh, rabbit hole. And it's always good to be ready. So talk to you guys later. Look out for that Harley bill coming. I know I posted a few videos and I haven't posted in a while. But I got another bike. So I'm trying to figure out what I want to do. Um, I sold the other one and, and bought a newer bike. So... Stay tuned. Talk to you guys later.